I rise today to express my support for the Pain Capable Unborn Child Protection Act, a bill that protects children from late-term abortions. As a co-sponsor of this common sense proposal, I'm grateful that the Senate will be taking a vote on this very important piece of legislation. Our constituents should know where we stand on this issue. The American people support reasonable limits on dangerous late-term abortions. On November 2014, Quinnipiac poll shows that 60% of Americans support legislation limiting abortions after 20 weeks. In line with this prevailing view, several states have already passed laws limiting late-term abortions. I'd like to note, Mr. President, that Nebraska was actually the first state to pass language like the Federal Pain Capable Unborn Child Protection Act. I was a member of our legislature at the time, and I was proud to be a co-sponsor of that piece of legislation that was offered by my good friend, the Nebraska Speaker, Senator Mike Flood. Speaker Flood's proposal passed in our unicameral legislature on a bipartisan vote of 44 to 5. We had pro-choice senators, both Republicans and Democrats, who supported that. We had pro-life senators, both Republicans and Democrats, who supported it. Nearly 90 percent, nearly 90 percent of our legislature came together and supported that bill. Why? Well, because it is a piece of reasonable legislation. And Americans recognize that, and they also recognize that opposition to this legislation is extremism. This isn't a new idea. Eleven states already have protections against late-term abortions that are similar to this bill. Science clearly indicates that at 20 weeks, these babies can feel pain. On this issue, party affiliation should not matter. On this issue, whether we declare we are pro-life or whether we say we are pro-choice, that should not matter. These designations didn't matter in my state of Nebraska. We looked at the facts. We came together from both sides of the aisle, and we passed a sensible, compassionate bill. Let's do the same here in the United States Senate. We all agree that we must support women who find themselves with unplanned pregnancies. Too many women experience despair, pain, and judgment during an unplanned pregnancy. Rather than offering condemnation, we should show kindness and understanding. We should offer assistance for these women, these expectant mothers who need to know that we will continue to support them in the challenging years ahead. I recognize that abortion remains an emotionally charged issue here in this country. And I also recognize that people of goodwill can disagree on the matter. I respect those opinions that are different than my own. But this legislation, Mr. President, it's not controversial. And it shouldn't divide us. Before us today, Mr. President, is a fundamental question of whether it's worth protecting human life capable of feeling pain. For anyone who believes otherwise, I would challenge them to explain when a life is worth protecting, if not when she feels pain. Nebraska affirmed this principle five years ago. The rest of the nation should do so as well. Thank you, Mr. President, and I yield the floor.